a Mimsy is uh, anything that uh, I draw on. And uh, normally that's a piece of wood. So this is a perfect example of a Mimsy. I named it that because of, of the movie The Last Mimsy. They had magic toys that looked something like smartphones. And uh, if you put my art on a, on a phone and moved around, it would be very similar to what you see in that movie. Something where only the person who picks it up can understand what they're looking at at the time because it has nothing uh, to do with um, anything but a personal relationship between you and what you're focusing on. Uh, it has to do with uh, taking the time to notice uh, completely unobvious things. So, what developed from my understanding of Angel Squirrel was that uh, what I actually stumbled on uh, after praying and remembering my dreams was that Angel Squirrel art, by moving it together, immediately causes a self-hypnosis which uh, gives you the power yourself not only to learn as you're moving it, um, and so everybody who moves it is learning something else, uh, but it gives you the power to um, uh, discover, and it causes so much stimulation that it uh, it makes it impossible for you to stay awake, quite frankly. Um, and but that is not an end in itself. The purpose of it is to cause lucid dreams. And, um, this is all entirely symbolic, so, uh, uh, once you begin to have lucid dreams, you'll notice them making you stronger mentally, and, um, in any case, that's what happened when I discovered it after I prayed to God, and it gave me the miracle of revealing to me, he let me figure out, basically, that the pictures that I had drawn in honor of my brother Michael, who went to heaven, uh, 17 years ago, uh, and his birthday it was just a minute ago, February 1st, um, and the picture that I drew in honor of my other brother, uh, matched, and so what I basically discovered was my artwork had always matched all along, uh, and you put the artwork together, and things as small as a clothespin or a mousetrap, when you stare, two of them, and you put them together, and you begin to move them, you have now just given yourself over to a, a world of lucid dreaming, for the purpose of revelations that are in your dreams, for the purpose of greater intelligence on the planet, massively, and beyond that, for the spiritual purposes of peace, basically. And God took a visual angle, but he put it extreme significance in everything that you're looking at. So, uh, once you match it, you become the discoverer. <clears throat> you become the discoverer of uh, what you were supposed to find, basically, in the moment. And once you start moving it, um, it changes continuously. Now, what's happening is two things. The second that you're destroying one form, you're building another one. But you're not really doing that, God is. But you're helping them do that. You're helping the angels. And so, uh, they are angels. And that is that uh, if you don't move it, it will not render uh, the ability that it has to create an energetic field um, and, and to uh, allow you to have these lucid dreams, which to me are experiencing the fifth dimension, uh, being in a higher place, closer to God, uh, listening to angels, hearing yourself have revelations in your dreams, and, uh, and becoming extremely um, able to remember those dreams. That was the gift that was given to me after I prayed for, uh, asked God to help me remember my dreams. He did. So he showed me the picture in honor of Michael Singh, and the picture that was in honor of Harry Singh, uh, matched. The first thing that I dreamed was I wanted to show people with my artwork how the Holy Spirit changes our perspective. So every time you move it, you're changing the perspective. You're changing uh, uh, the picture. I wanted to show people also how our thoughts move. Now, 
This is an angel here, which is a rare one because I actually drew her face. Uh, what I mean by changing or how your thoughts be it on, it has a holy purpose. The whole thing is God wants to get us to uh, the most deepest form of REM sleep, where you sleep like the dead, uh, for the purpose of revealing. As I keep emphasizing, the Holy Spirit is about nothing but revelation. This is the time of revelations. That's the time of the Great Awakening, and uh, I seem to be right on time. Uh, I've had this secret for seven years of what the artwork does, and uh, uh, it's, um, it's a sacred thing. I call it sacred algebra. This is a way of self-improving the mind, the brain, reconstructing the neural net, uh, creating new patterns in the neural net that will become hardwired quite quickly by, uh, it's not so much repetition, but it's more of a, something like that. It's like, um, it's literally drilling in something that was not there before. It's a new angle for the brain. Um, and because it does all these off-the-wall things, uh, it's able to make any person more intelligent. And, um, when, <laughs> when we, uh, are, when I am drawing, I am expressing intelligent design. That's why I named my first video, The Strategy of Intelligent Design. There's a very um, specific uh, timing. Um, by having PTSD, as they call it, I became a very powerful, holy visionary. And uh, by facing all the horrible things that happened to my brother and I, for which reason he's in heaven for a while now, and uh, was my best friend and always will be, um, there was a much better purpose so that uh, many more people could benefit from uh, my health on Earth. So as I was uh, discovering that each world has this power of causing lucid dreams and immediate self-hypnosis, um, enhancing the powers of the brain, uh, I was watching What the Bleep right around that time. and. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza was teaching me that uh, when you focus for a certain amount of time, you will um, be thinking with your with the highest part of your brain, uh, which word escapes me now, probably the cerebral cortex, or the frontal lobe, is the frontal lobe. In any case, in the frontal lobe, you have millions instead of just thousands of possible connections. And that's what this is all about. It's putting anyone on that level to suddenly go from having so many ideas to having many more ideas. Uh, it's to um, also...